is a short video to talk to you a little bit about telomeres and NAD. And this is because we've been talking about anti-aging and I feel that it's important to understand the connection between NAD and telomeres as well. So anti-aging is very important because as we age, the risk of getting all kinds of diseases increases very quickly. And so if we can slow down the aging process, or if we can even reverse it partially or totally, we can actually reduce our risk of getting diseases. And if you already happen to have some sort of degenerative disease, you can actually improve that disease. Chances are that you will be able to do it if you can reverse or slow down the aging process. At least that has been my personal experience. So let's talk about telomeres. So as you may know, these are the caps of the chromosomes. And so these are the repetitive sequences of nucleoproteins that when a cell divides tend to become a little bit shorter. Also things like oxidative stress and uh, chronic inflammations tend to make our telomeres shorter. And as they become really, really short, this leads to telomere dysfunction. And with that come all the age-related diseases, uh, less um, power of regeneration, um, stem cells, um, especially fib fibrotic diseases, and uh, eventually it leads to senescence. So when we're born, we have about five to 15,000 base pairs of these telomeres, right, at the ends of our chromosomes, and we lose about 70 per year. Now this is very uh, dependent on the species, so this is for human beings. I know that mice, for instance, have a lot longer uh, telomeres, but they lose them very quickly. Whereas I think um, elephants uh, don't lose them as quickly, and uh, depend it really depends on the species. kind of interesting uh, to take a look at that. But the thing is that telomeres can shorten, but they can also be lengthened. How do we do that? How do we improve the stability of the telomeres and make them longer? Well, there is something called telomerase, and this helps synthesize the telomeres. So you can actually grow your telomeres by activating telomerase. actually also telomerase independent ways of stabilizing telomeres and NAD is one of these methods. So NAD, uh, I've talked about it in a few videos, I've talked about how you can boost your NAD levels and how you can try to maintain your levels high so that you don't succumb to the age-related NAD decline. And uh, boosting your NAD uh, seems to be um, rejuvenating uh, to the body. And one of the reasons has to do with the telomeres, actually. Because now we know that telomere dysfunction leads to an activation of P53. Now this, in turn, leads to senescence, cell senescence among other things. And one of the other things is that it leads to inhibition of sirtuins. So if you have telomere dysfunction, that will inhibit your sirtuins from doing the work they're supposed to do. And that will put you on a downward spiral with more inflammation, shorter telomeres, quicker aging. However, there is a um, positive side to this because we have discovered that by boosting your NAD levels 
you can boost the activity of your sirtuins. So the sirtuins use up NAD. And you can indeed boost uh, the sirtuins. And the interesting thing is that the sirtuins then stabilize the telomeres in a telomerase independent way as well. And they also do a lot of other very positive things and one of these being they inhibit P53 which is what leads to uh, cell senescence as well as inhibiting the sirtuins. So boosting your NAD levels and doing activities like exercise and uh, fasting or intermittent fasting and um, exposing yourself to heat or uh, exposing yourself to cold that all of that can actually help your telomeres as well is there anything else you can do to boost your telomeres well it turns out that one of the activities that is really bad for your telomeres is chronic stress so if you're chronically stressed, you will be shortening your telomere length. However, if you can meditate, then you can actually grow longer telomeres. And here's an interesting point. If you meditate and open your heart, if you practice a type of loving kindness meditation, or if you practice more love in your life, you can actually help grow your telomeres. So uh, that's a healthy activity that you can engage in in order to make your telomeres a little bit longer. So if you enjoyed this video, please sponsor me on Patreon with any amount because that will be just awesome. Uh, that way I will be able to do, to do a lot more of these videos and write articles and other things. Thank you for watching. See you next time.